to rise a mere 60% over the next few hours to reach those magnificent heights that our friend Bo Polney guaranteed by May. Submitted by Marshall Swing Here we are a little over a month since I last reported on silver and gold and thank God we are almost to $2,000 gold and silver is just about to pass $60. The Cherkofax.com web link. We have all been waiting so long, since Bo Polney's announcement on February 24th, for the not to be denied to happen and it is finally here. Can you see it? Can you smell it? Can you taste it? Are you ready? Are your hopes jacked up really high? Are your emotions running wild? Oh oops. I just checked the prices this morning and the dream is still just a dream. Silver $17.20. Gold 1,265.00. But, what is a few days among friends? Silver only has to gain 250% and gold needs to rise a mere 60% to reach those magnificent heights that our friend Bo Polney predicted. Let's see, Bo's math says silver's gains will outpace gold by four times. Great. Today the gold. Silver ratio stands at about 70 to 1. Baupolny's projection goes to 33 to 1. Not bad. Last month, I argued against Bo's May prediction. Now, if the world's economies start to shudder and shake like an earthquake is in progress and we see some major league wild swings of volatility in the world's markets, you know, like several dollar 800, 1200 up and down days in a row and most of the institutional investing class determines we are just days or hours away from a massive global economic crash then the institutional investing class will send billions of dollars into hard assets with gold and silver paper futures being the first targets, then real estate, oil, etc. That has to happen for both to be correct. If that happens between now and May I will be the first to tip my hat to the master, Baupolny. Here is Bo's recent quote posted here February 24, 2017. A price explosion follows in the days and weeks ahead. Gold will be over $2,000 and silver over $60 by May 2017, if not sooner. Hmm, if not sooner, does that mean like April? Like now? The April ship is floundering and has tonight's Globex, Asia session to sail, sink. The May ship is taking on water but there does not seem to be enough hands below decks with buckets to bail this one out. Now, in Bo's rebuttal he said I told people to back up the truck at $21. From the time in 2012 when I projected $15 silver until late 2014 when that prediction was realized, I never told people to sell their silver for a better price in the future nor did I tell them not to buy at any price on the way down to $15. I always told people to buy once they were convinced of the silver story and they felt comfortable enough silver was low enough they could not miss the reward in the future. I am not directing people's investing and not getting paid a single reddish penny for anything I write. I do not make an outrageous living writing newsletters like Jim Willie. I am not a billionaire like Eric Sprott, I'm not conspicuously profiting like Harry Dent, and less so like Martin Armstrong whom I admire who also missed the fall 2015 call, and I am not making a living selling gold and silver to people so I do not gain a single non-copper penny from what I write or sell to people. Nothing. Those other guys live handsome lifestyles. Maybe not like the rich and famous but far more lavish than the lifestyle I live. What I have said and will continue to say is this, if you bought silver at $21 and did not sell or you bought silver at $38 and did not sell, or if you bought silver at $48 and did not sell but are still holding on to that same metal with a non-realized loss then I have great news for you. Someday in the near future. When the dust clears shortly after the global economic collapse, you will be handsomely rewarded for your patience in holding. If you bought at $21 you will be greatly rewarded, even more so if you bought at $18, and more so if you bought at $15 and below just like my call. I maintained my call for the $15 price of silver for over 2.5 years, all the way down. Go read the articles, the proof is all there.
The reason I have called Bo out three times now is because he makes outlandish short-term time predictions when the cat numbers say no such thing is imminent. And my studied opinion says there are no world events looming to get us there by May either, but could it happen? Yes? Will it happen? I think not. What could help make it happen is war with the Russians but that is highly unlikely. Not even a remote possibility from where I sit after having served in the USAF at the largest nuclear base the United States has and knowing generals involved in those types of decisions. Ain't going to happen. Fugita Bauta. What really bothers me about Bo's missed calls is the aspect of getting people's hopes up for a quick profit and their profits are not realized and they become bitter and give up because they did not do their due diligence. But, I do not feel sorry for people wanting to make an unstudied, greedy, quick profit. They are what they are and deserve what they get. Just ask Steve St. Angelo who I have known over 10 years now and he will tell you the story on silver and gold is a long-term story and a long-term realization and the story we tell is not for those who want to get in quick, get out quick, with a hefty profit. I give most of the credit to Steve St. Angelo for me getting into silver and gold, by the way. He wrote an impressive article in a private financial forum way back in about 2007-2008 that was the final convincing evidence to get me to buy it at about $10.50-ish silver. Steve was way out in front of the pack and got in at about $4 or $5 if I remember correctly. We know $100 or $200 or $500 silver is coming. No doubt about it. It is a long-term story and a not-to-be-denied moment. Silver could easily return to a 15 to 1 ratio with gold and probably closer, if not equal. Steve, more than any other analyst I can depend on for facts, facts, facts. The one and only one missed call people can fault me for is saying I believed and was convinced the global economic crash was going to happen in fall 2015. I remain convinced to this day that fall 2015 was the original plan for the crash and that September 23, 2015 absolutely remains the start of Daniel's 70th week, or the countdown to the 1260-day Great Tribulation of Daniel and Revelation. And I have much more confirming information since then that convinces me those are the facts and we are roughly 717 days away from Revelation 1214 and those 1260 days. The date of the global economic crash got moved and for some reason I do not know but I have my suspicions. To understand how something like moving a date like that can happen, you have to find what it is in the scriptures that has the ability to move such an ominous state with destiny. We should all consider it a great blessing the global economic crash might have been moved until a future date and be about the business of redeeming the time. Ephesians 5 colon 15 17 See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools but as wise. 16 Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. 17 Therefore do not be unwise, but understand what the will of YHVH is. Colossians 4 to 5 6 Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside, redeeming the time. 6 Let your speech always be with favor, seasoned with salt. That you may know how you ought to answer each one. After all, Joshua was able to delay the sun going down so Israel could win a battle in the light. Joshua 10 13 So the sun stood still. And the moon stopped. Till the people had revenge upon their enemies. Is this not written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and did not hasten to go down for about a whole day. It is no small thing the sun and the moon could be stopped. It is a fact in recorded ancient history, all over the earth, that it happened, and from the reports we know almost exactly where it happened. www.youtube.com web link. Malcolm Bowden an engineer and scientist, does a great, short video on the subject and also other factual scientific evidences. Now, on to precious metal price analysis. I have proven my ability to get in quick and get out quick, of paper silver, for a very hefty profit, many times in my writings. Just for fun, I did it again a couple of weeks ago when I wrote this, 
thechurkofacts.com web link but I did it on a day's short notice and Silver Doctors was not able to post it beforehand. And, as if on cue from the conductor, Silver was smashed 77 cents over the next two days, Friday April 7th and Monday April 10th, and made a huge profit for the short side. So, here we are over a month later from my last report, where are we now? Here is where we were last month. A month ago, silver commercials held 73.6% of all silver shorts, as of March 7, 2017 they hold 79.3% of all silver shorts. A month ago, the silver producer merchant commercial held 37.3% of all silver shorts, as of March 7, 2017 they hold a crisp 41% of all silver shorts. And now, as of last Friday's COT report which dates to the previous Tuesday March 11th afternoon close, the silver commercials hold 73.3% of all silver shorts. The silver commercials hold 38.6% of all silver shorts. The silver commercials maintain absolute mathematical sovereignty over silver contracts and price. Price does not rise or fall without their blessing and the speculators and hedge funds are totally powerless to do anything about it and they do not seem to be able to figure out exactly how the commercials do it, but I have. From time to time those speculators believe they can win so they buy and eventually get stung by the commercial wasp. If you are able to figure out how those commercials do what they do and how to see the signs of when they are going to do it, then you too can make a ton of money like cleaner fish following a great white shark. In my writings, over five years, I have given folks all the tools they need to do just that and play the paper future game successfully. If, you can put it all together mathematically and know how to see the signs. Where is price going? The telltale sign I have written about many times was given last week, and delightfully obvious, that price would go down again and indeed since yesterday it has been going down. Silver price is now down about 50 cents since Monday here as of my writing on Tuesday morning 418. This is way too easy and I have been doing it for years. Every time they specifically give away what is going to happen but almost no one can see it. No one that I know of anyway. I wrote about what to look for many times in the past but who else paid attention and makes these short profits? So, how does a short gain of 50 cents work? If you have 100 contracts shorter and did not get greedy and settled for a 50 cents gain before the temporary bottom then you just made a very easy $250,000 on 500,000 ounces of short silver at 5,000 ounces per contract. Notice on the chart I had very little time to make that 50 cents gain and get my order closed. It happens very quick. Can picking up paper money get any easier than that? No wonder Hillary Clinton loved the futures game. I do not advise anyone to play the paper game or sell their physical silver. I do not advise anyone to do what I do in investing. I have never advised anyone to play the paper game or sell their physical silver, even though I did sell physical silver in 2011 about 20% below the top and after the top. Next year, in the fall of 2018 in my opinion, you will be forced to sell your silver after the global economic crash. You will receive great reward for your patience in holding at whatever price you bought in at. Shalom from the wilderness of southern Illinois where folks are planting fruit trees and gardens, eating raw honey, drinking raw milk, slaughtering grass-fed sheep for Passover, eating nothing but organic unleavened bread cakes during the days of unleavened bread, and learning to survive off 